In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memory of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. I, Tobit, have walked all the days of my life on the paths of truth and righteousness. I performed many charitable works for my kinsmen and my people who had been deported with me to Nineveh in Assyria. On our festival of Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, a fine dinner was prepared for me, and I reclined to eat. The table was set for me, and when many different dishes were placed before me, I said to my son, Tobiah, My son, go out and try to find a poor man from among our kinsmen exiled here in Nineveh. If he is a sincere worshiper of God, bring him back with you so that he can share this meal with me. Indeed, son, I shall wait for you to come back. Tobiah went out to look for some poor kinsman of ours. When he returned, he exclaimed, Father, I said to him, What is it, son? He answered, Father, one of our people has been murdered. His body lies in the marketplace where he was just strangled. I sprang to my feet leaving the dinner untouched, and I carried the dead man from the street to put him in one of the rooms so that I might bury him after sunset. Returning to my own quarters, I washed myself and ate my food in sorrow. I was reminded of the oracle pronounced by the prophet Amos against Bethel. All your festivals shall be turned into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I wept. Then at sunset I went out, dug a grave, and buried him. The neighbors mocked me, saying to one another, He is still not afraid. Once before he was hunted down for execution because of this very thing. Yet now that he has scarcely escaped, here he is again burying the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth, the upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. 
His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lands. He conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one another to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them, last of all, thinking, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him, and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scriptures, the scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and... It is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. In a world where it is easy to make enemies and offend people's feelings, to maintain one's stature and influence, it is very tempting to be self-preserving, to please people, and therefore to compromise one's values and ideals. In the first reading, we hear Tobit returning to Nineveh after he was exiled for performing an act of charity that is burying the dead. In the olden times, to bury the dead is to recognize the dignity of the person who died. And for Tobit, it is an imperative to give final respects to the dead. On the day of Pentecost, to celebrate his return from exile, he wished to share a meal with a poor man. So he asked his son, Tobiah, to go out and look for a poor kinsman to break bread with. But what Tobiah found was a man murdered in the marketplace. Tobit took the man himself and gave him 
proper burial after sunset. Tobit cannot take it in conscience to be selfish, to be self-preserving, to simply think of himself. So despite the ridicule and mockery of the people and possible consequence of his action, perhaps persecution and another exile, he persisted in doing good. In the Gospel, we hear from Jesus the parable of the owner of the vineyard. This parable alludes to the many prophets, men and women of God, who were sent by God to proclaim conversion, but were all rejected by the people, especially by the Jewish authorities. It is not easy to deal with enemies, but we learn from Jesus the mastery of doing it, and we hope to attain some level of maturity and self-awareness so that like Jesus, we can courageously and creatively confront oppositions, denounce evil, challenge bullies, and correct wrongdoings. Jesus is not afraid to make enemies. Jesus is not a pleaser. Jesus stands for the truth. Saint Boniface is a Benedictine monk and missionary. He earned the title Apostle of Germany for his important role in proclaiming Christ to that country. However, he was murdered by the pagans for doing good, for preaching the goodness of God on Pentecost Sunday. Saint Boniface is true to his name, Boniface meaning good works. Saint Boniface persisted in doing good despite the possible martyrdom. In this Mass, we ask the Lord to give us the grace and the courage to persist in doing good despite oppositions, despite discouraging results. Wag sana tayong matakot magpatuloy sa paggawa ng mabuti. Dahil ang kabutihan, hindi tayo dadalhin sa kapahamakan. Sabi nga ng kanta ni Lito Magnaye, Umasa ka sa Diyos ang mabuti gawin at manahan kang ligtas sa lupain. Sa Diyos mo hanapin ang kaligayahan at pangarap mo ay makakamtan. Amen. Please stand. Reflecting upon the warning in the Gospel about the need to bear fruit, we place our requests before God the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may receive light, strength, and support in guiding the flock in times of difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the spirit of prayer in our families may be given attention so that our minds may be filled with the peace and joy that comes from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that in our own lives we may bear fruits of love, forgiveness, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the aged, the lonely, and the sick may not lose heart in the midst of their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died may find a place in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer to the Lord all our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our loving Father, your Son was the stone rejected. We accept him with all our hearts and confidently present our supplications to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in commemoration of Blessed Boniface be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that they may be pleasing to your majesty, just as the shedding of this martyr's blood was precious in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Boniface, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface faithful in your service 
and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Maria, in Anna.